you know, it was... Uh, and see, it's that moral saying no. The moral calling it out is what will dispel these vipers. Stay there. The Green family, child kidnapped for six hellish weeks because they needed medical marijuana and legally did it. We're on the march. The Empire's on the march. You're run. next, folks, unless you Alex stand up. Jones You're next. The GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. The war on drugs is a giant fraud. Most of the narcotics are shipped in by the big banks. On record, they don't get in trouble when they get caught laundering hundreds of billions of dollars like Wells Fargo, Wachovia, Bank of America. You pull up hundreds of mainstream news articles breaking that down. Wachovia, Wells Fargo laundered in a three-year period. What was it? Between 2007 in 2010, 380 plus billion dollars, 387 billion dollars, and got a 111 million dollar fine. We did the math. That'd be like if you robbed millions of dollars and paid a couple thousand dollar fine. I mean, you start robbing banks immediately if you were an immoral person, right? So it's just a total fraud. I mean, we know that birds eat fermented berries and get drunk and seek the berries out. We know bats do it. Are we going to arrest them? Uh, I'm drinking coffee right now. Wake Up America Blend America coffee. Wake Up America coffee from InfoWars. I mean, that's a stimulant. Am I evil? Am I bad? Obviously, this stuff's all abused. 
But the reason it's dirty is because you've made it illegal, then it's underground, and then the criminal elements involved. And they're the ones that are nasty. You want to dispel narcotics? Decriminalize them. Control them like prescription drugs. Stuff like marijuana, decriminalize it. My problem is all over the country, they've got these state laws and, and federal edicts uh, where you basically waive your rights to go into this. And marijuana is a miracle plant. The cannabinoids, all the stuff involved in it. I've been involved in documentaries. I've seen the studies. I mean, it's mainline stuff. Big Pharma knows this. They're making hundreds of drugs out of it right now and patenting it. This is CNN right here. And we're going back to our guest. Marijuana stops child's severe seizures. She was having 300 a week and was going to be completely brain damaged and basically die. I mean, I've watched my uncle have seizures over the last 30-something years. And, uh, you know, they, they, they mess him up. But he's reduced them with drugs and a fatty diet, you know, coconut, coconut oil, things like that. And they've even, again, but the mainline doctors won't tell you, go get a medical marijuana thing. It's been found in double-blind studies across the board with many different types of uh, epileptic disorders that are on the rise, by the way, with our toxic environment. It's been found to massively reduce them. She was having 300 grand mal seizures a week. Her heart had stopped a number of times and it reduced it down. Where is that in the article? How many a week? Didn't it say five a week? Yes. Uh, Mike, Mike's not clear, guys. Like I told you. Three to four. Thanks. Yeah, there it is in the article. Three to four. And that's the issue that the system is trying to block here. That, that for all the ways they're poisoning us, God has given us all these great plants that can do these amazing things. And Big Pharma under Codex Alimentarius wants to shut this down. But not just marijuana. They've had raids on different herbal uh, growing facilities with things like aloe vera. I saw that a few years ago, claiming someone could use it as a drug. I mean, they just want to control the resources. Now, going back to Steve and Marie Green, they started FreeBabyBree.com, a foundation to help fight the CPS when they kidnap children for medical marijuana and other issues. And this is great. There's lots of other organizations out there as well. And this is where the data and the, and the, and the case histories and the game plans can be distributed to others and, and up their learning curve to where people know how to fight and know their rights. So it's wonderful. So Steve and Marie Green, break down the rest of the story, what else happened, and uh, what happened when you went and marched against the DHS? Yeah, so uh, that, that's exactly what we did. We had a bunch of people show up. We did the, the songs, the protests, the uh, signs. The news came out in droves. Um, and we, we uh, you know, got looks out of pretty much every window in the high-rise building. We had people for blocks around that would come and ask what was going on. And then uh, from there on, it was just an outpour of court support, um, both from uh, a group called The Human Solution and uh, just the community members in our area. Uh, we had 30, 40 people at each court date. And when you're talking about uh, you know, a CPS type of thing, they normally try to restrict that and, and not allow very many people and uh, make it as secretive as possible. So we avoided that. And I think that was a key element in, in getting Brie back. And so we uh, wrote out that process and uh, went back in front of the judge and he made some statements uh, like when you're convicted and, you know, just some uh, very biased seeming statements. And uh, then after we proved ourselves uh, and the media was in the courtroom filming and everything, he never came back out of the courtroom or out of the, his chambers again. Uh, but they did in chambers come to a decision that they would give Bree back. Uh, since then, we've had uh, an independent uh, report done by the state uh, ombudsman report. And uh, they had some findings that CPS made some errors and uh, things like that. So it looks like we're going to be, uh, you know, keep screaming from the top of our lungs. And we've been able to uh, help several other families in Michigan. Uh, that were caught up in this type of situation. And uh, I think that's important for, for uh, the real Americans and communities to stick together when, when things are happening and it would outrage you if it happened to you. 
uh, remember we're all together in this and, and stick up for each other. Well, again, it just shows how predatory this system is, and they're persecuting people across this country. We have the largest prison population in the country, in the world, and it's only growing, and they're just finding new ways to throw nonviolent people in jail while all these huge crimes are being committed across the board. We had a case up in Round Rock last year where a toddler died in CPS captivity after being taken from marijuana-smoking parents because the neighbors smelled it. And I want to point, it's these rat neighbors. It's like this case CBS News is reporting on in Maryland uh, where the, the tree trimming company was looking through the guy's window at his house and saw he had a tattoo of a gun on him. So the SWAT team came for the tattoo. And it, it just shows that it's just a culture of weird snitches everywhere that literally like their dream is to call the knight in shining armor the SWAT team. On, on anybody and everybody, or everybody gets back at each other with the system, and it's wrecking our culture. It's re and hurting children. So, you know, I wonder what the people that, you know, called the CPS on you feel about the little baby being drug off and all this. I wonder how that feels. I wonder if that feels good. Well, it was actually her ex-husband. Uh, they were in a custody battle over her shared son uh, when she went to court the day before the judge ruled in, in my wife's favor the following day. The ex-husband called CPS and filed the complaint with his false allegations, um, accusations. And uh, so exactly. But I'm saying, look, look at the collateral damage, though, to a child that's not even, you know, uh, related. It, it's just I wouldn't call the system in, folks, unless it's an emergency. Oh, but he was eating it up. He's smug about it. This is a very sinister person. Um, well, I don't want to get off of the whole family stuff, but I know that gets nasty. But I, all I'm saying is, is that this snitch culture is out of control. What was it like when baby Bree was uh, returned to you guys? It was a, a big party, pretty much. We uh, we got her back. There was a return policy, and uh, we completed that. We got her back. Um, we weren't allowed to have any media when we got her. Um, is there God? Is there God? Right. So right after that, we went to our lawyer's office and we had a, a conference and celebration. And, uh, you know, like you said, it happens all over the country. CNN did a follow up piece in Napa, California, where they have removed a 11 month old and they're still fighting for jurisdiction there. Um, and this just this just happens everywhere. And you don't hear much about it because they, they scare people so badly that most people won't speak out. Um, so I think it's imperative that, like you said, groups that are helping out stand up and, and help the, the little people out. Um, in my case, you know, I was on 30 pharmaceutical drugs and still having uh, grand mal seizures a couple times a week. Um, and when I got on the medical marijuana and took it in a, in a capsule, like a pill, like a herbal pill, uh, when I would do that, I went 18 months without a seizure at all. And uh, that's longer than I ever did on any of the 30 different pharmaceutical drugs that just made it worse. You're absolutely right. Uh, it just it just really has miracle effects. And this is why they're trying to block herbs, minerals, vitamins, natural plants, because this is from the earth. This is the, these are God's gifts. These hundreds of millions of different types of plants and animals and things that are on this earth uh, for us to be able to take care of ourselves but instead they want to play god they want to come in with their big pharma and rule over everyone steve and maria green freebabybreed.com for folks that want to get involved and help you guys defend other families that are going through this nightmare god bless you and i appreciate your courage because i've 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 battled cps uh, as a media person myself and it's so painful to see the crimes they commit and the things they do that it's duty that i i just uh, cannot physically get involved in because it tears me up too bad to see the enjoyment of taking the kids, the the system preying on people. It, it's it's just it's dealing with child kidnappers who are in power and who are on a power trip and who just are having their way with people, and it and it, and it makes me physically sick. So you're doing God's work. Make no mistake about that. Thank you. Thank you for talking about it, Alex. No, no, thank you. You guys are simply amazing. God bless you. Well, there you go, folks. There goes the Green family. And thanks to all your support out there, you've had a victory against them. You got to wear your colors loud and proud, folks. I'm going to do a plug, and then I'm going to get into uh, 
all the news that I haven't covered yet. I was also going to get into 10 ways that women are under attack by the system.